In this video, we're going to talk about how to set up the Microsoft Graph Connection Manager to access SharePoint Online. This will provide a more modern OAuth authentication method than the legacy basic authentication for SharePoint. The Microsoft Graph Connection Manager comes in a package of tasks and components called SSIS Plus that complements the standard SSIS. These are the files that we'll be downloading using the package that I'll be creating. And it's on the Cozy Rock SharePoint website. And then this is the description of how to set up the Microsoft Graph Connection. It's on the Cozy Rock website in our documentation. This is the URL that I'll be using, and they list some other URLs that might be the right ones for your situation. And then down here, we want to look at uh, the section called Manage Remote Files and Directories. And here it says to use the file transfer task to manipulate remote files and folders. And you'll need to use these scopes when you request a token for accessing the SharePoint files. So we'll get to that in a minute. And I just want to show you the folder that I'm going to be downloading the files into. It's called Receive SharePoint Files. Here we are in Visual Studio. And I'm going to define my connection managers first. So the first one I'll set up is the file connection for the local folder. And we'll be using an existing folder. And I'll browse to find that. And there's Receive SharePoint Files. I'll click OK. And now I'll set up the Token File and Connection Manager for the Microsoft Graph Connection. So we're going to be using Cozy Rock's REST Connection Manager. And there it is. I'll click on Add. And here it asks for the configuration, so I'll scroll down to find the Microsoft Graph configuration. And here you can see the URL I pointed out in our documentation. And we'll leave authentication set to OAuth. And the token storage, I'm going to use the file choice, but you also can choose database. And now I click here next to token file, and I need to create a new token file. So we're going to be using the Chromium browser. Um, I'm going to leave everything except the scope here. I want to add the scope that it showed us in the documentation on our website. And I'm going to leave the things that were already set up there, like offline access and user.read. So the offline access, if you have problems with your token file expiring, you want to make sure you have the offline underscore access set up there. And then I click on Next. Here I'll type in my email address. And then I'll click on Next. And then I'll enter my password. And I hit enter to sign in. And now it asks us for some permissions. And I will accept those. And now I want to save my token file in case I need to use it for another package. And I'm going to call it msgraphcm2. And I'll set up a password to encrypt it. And I'll click on OK. And now I'll test the connection. And it was good. So I'll click on OK to close the Connection Manager. Stay tuned to see how I complete the configuration of the package and execute it. Now 
Now we'll start configuring the file transfer task. So I'm going to be using it to download files from SharePoint. And I'll double click to open the editor. And the action we want is receive files. In the local parameters section, I'll select the connection manager called receive SharePoint files that I set up earlier. And then in the remote parameters section, I'll select the connection manager called rest connection manager one that I set up to use the Microsoft graph configuration. And then here I'm going to select the location of the files I want to download, which I think they're in here. And yeah, and there's files for demo. And those are the six files that I'm going to be downloading. And uh, let me see. I don't really want just that one. But the OK was grayed out, so I'll just remove it now. And we don't need a filter or anything. And I'll click OK. And I'm going to save the package, and we'll execute it. And it says it was successful, so I'll stop debugging. And we'll go take a look at the files in the Receive SharePoint Files folder. And there are all six of the files that we downloaded from SharePoint. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to follow us on social media, here's how you can do that.